everyone welcome back to my channel today thank you guys for joining me today and i'm gonna go ahead and show you a fun diy where you could go ahead and customize this cute hopping craft bag where you can store all your planner stuff on the go if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos and also follow me on social media at jesse davila one on instagram and on facebook and let's go ahead and begin Okay, so for the first item, we're going to go ahead and use this hot pink caddy, of course. If you guys are new to my channel, you probably don't know, but I love everything pink, so it just makes it look a lot cuter. And since I am using it for my planner, I wanted to go ahead and just match everything in my room. So for this caddy, I actually like it because we're going to use the outside pockets to go ahead and input a lot of the actual supplies just to keep it a little bit more organized. And I also use this, if you guys haven't seen my um, car hacks video, I'll go ahead and definitely link it down below. It's the same one. I just ended up purchasing two from the same seller. So this is what it looks like. I like it because it's very structured and it's very deep. So I could actually put the actual cases standing. I'll go ahead and show you what type of cases we're going to use. So for the actual cases, I ended up um, picking these up. Ended up being cheaper in the actual container. I'll go ahead and zoom in to show you what it looks like. So it's called the photo craft storage um, box. As you can see, they're five by seven photos. This ended up being about four or five dollars for the whole thing. It was cheaper to buy the box as I did have a coupon for it. So go ahead and check that out. I did pick it up at my local Michaels for that. So I'll go ahead and let you guys know um, to definitely use these because these ended up fitting in the actual caddy and it ended up working out really good, especially because of the height. So it was able to I was able to fit about six in the actual caddy. So for the next item that we're actually going to go ahead and use for this, I'm going to go ahead and show you my all-time favorite label maker. This is the Brother um, P-Touch, I believe it's called. I'll definitely go ahead and link it down below. It's my all-time favorite. Um, for the labels, this is, go ahead and do a screenshot so you can actually see the actual tape for this. It didn't come with the machine, but I did end up purchasing it after. They are laminated actual rolls, so it makes it a lot easier so they do last. For my other option, these are the actual stickers I'm going to go ahead head and use they do have some of the empty boxes some have quotes some have dates some have actual different icons so for my purpose these are the ones that are like my go-to all-time favorite planner stickers so go ahead and take a screenshot for that as well so you guys could go ahead and see which ones are my favorite so for the task for today these are all the craft stuff that I kind of take with me in my purse and everything just kind of gets scattered on my diaper bag and everything so we're gonna go ahead and begin this um, organization so for the font this is what it's actually called I'm not even gonna try to read it because I just figured I'll go ahead and zoom in and have you guys take a screenshot so as you can see for the size of it I did use a large size on the actual setting so go ahead and change that because on default I believe it's like extra small on it so I'm gonna go ahead these are the six categories that I'm gonna go ahead and use just to keep everything a little bit more simple and organized on my actual caddy because as you guys saw before, it was a lot of stuff. Um, I like to take everything with me just because I just never know what I'm going to end up crafting. So I like to just kind of keep my basic um, craft stuff. So this is just my actual go-to on the go caddy um, when I'm in the office or if I want to do some crafting in the kitchen, I'll go ahead and just take this with me instead of taking my whole, like, instead of being in the craft room. So for me this is the stuff that i kind of end up using like i said you guys could go ahead and change this based on the necessities so you guys are going to go ahead and use but for me this is kind of what works for me and this is kind of what i use most of the time the hot glue tools i do use for some stuff not all the time but i'm making this like a planner and craft bag just because i didn't want to have two of everything so this is just what i use when i'm on the go or if i am going to go ahead and just kind of plan in my bedroom or in the kitchen or whatnot so this is kind of what i do so as you can see, the actual labor labels do come with two separate um, papers. So as you can see here, it actually the size large fits really good and you could actually see it because it's very bold. So these are three of the actual containers that I end up using. And then this one's the other three, like the clips and notepads and stamps and ink pads, stuff like that. So for the hot glue tools, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I actually put in just because I figure it was easier for you guys to see how I store it. So this glue gun, they don't have it at at amazon but they do have it in the bins at michael's that's kind of where i picked that up and then the actual attachment for the glue um the glue gun i did pick that up at amazon so i'll definitely link that below and then the little grips i ended up using them because it's just easier so you don't burn your fingers when you do use the hot glue gun 
And then I normally keep a few of the travel size actual glue sticks just to kind of keep them very handy. And everything fits on these. I love these um, photo cases, it just works perfectly. For this section, I ended up just storing all my lead pencils, my markers, my glitter stuff, my gel pens, things that I like to make my planner very colorful. I like to use different pens, especially because some of them have a really thin fine point and some are a little bit thicker. So it depends on what I'm gonna end up using it for. I always carry Sharpies with me because you just never know and they write on everything. So it just makes it a lot easier. As you can see, the size fits perfect for the pens as well and the thickness for like the actual glue gun. I was very happy that I could actually take that with me. For the next option, I did put clips and notepads because you definitely have to have clips and things like that just to kind of separate the pages on your planner. So these are my all-time favorite adhesive pouches. I do find this at the back to school on Target at the dollar section. Um, so definitely pick those up. I do have clips and then this little notepad, I believe I picked it up at Dollar Tree. And this one just has different pages of like different sticky notes and it fits perfect on my actual Louis planner because they're not too big. So you could actually write in it and it doesn't take up the whole page. So I love that size. So as you can see, everything fits there really good. For my next bin, I ended up doing stamps and ink pads. I, I've been actually into doing stamping lately just because it switches it up and I could just kind of change the ink just in case I don't want to do stickers, just kind of customize it, give me a little bit more options. So I did pick up these clear stamps at Michael's. Um, they did have a sale on them. All these actually came in a pack. I ended up paying about $5 to $10 for these. Um, they weren't that expensive. The only thing is with these stamps, you do need these clear blocks. I did get a, a pack, I believe, of six or seven at Amazon. So I'll definitely try to find the seller that I purchased them for. And then all these ink pads, I did purchase them on clearance. So the Memento and stuff like that, those are like my all-time favorite. And then they're small enough to where they could actually fit the actual stamps. For my next bin, I ended up doing the crafting tools just because it was... Um, why don't you have everything with all the like the sharp stuff and the glues and all that. So for this one, I did pick this up at Daiso. I thought it was like the cutest um, little eraser. So since I am doing lead pencils and stuff like that for some parts of my planner, I wanted to go ahead and have a good eraser. And then this is double sided tape. I did purchase these in a bundle of 12, I believe at Amazon. And then this is a portable stapler, which I thought it was the cutest thing ever. And then it does have an option in the back so you could put paper clips, which I didn't end up putting. So I definitely have to um, go back and, and put that in there. And then I just figured it was a lot smaller than carrying a travel size stapler. And then this eraser I did pick up at Dezo. It's like a pen and pencil eraser. So it does work to erase regular pens just a ruler, an X-Acto knife, and then I did pick up these regular tweezers. Um, they are pointed, so it makes it easier to grab tiny little stickers. And this is my all-time favorite, scissors. I did purchase this at Amazon. I'll definitely leave the link for them. They're not that expensive. I ended up picking this up about $5, so it's totally worth it, and it does have a child lock, so your kids can like undo it. And then like I said, I have whiteout, and then this is my all-time favorite, stapler remover. It works better than like the regular ones, and then it doesn't rip your paper when it actually takes the staples off. And then I just ended up picking up another eraser just in case I run out of the other one. And then this X-Acto knife ends up being so cute because it's so detailed and it's a, it has a fine point to where you could actually get into the little edges and just carve it out really nicely. And then of course, I, you can't go wrong with this. I ended up using this to kind of make folds and stuff like that for my actual um, paper and stuff like that. And this is just a regular um, single hole punch just because it was small enough to kind of take with me. I do have a bigger one in the craft room. But like I said, most of the stuff is very travel friendly and very portable. So that's why I ended up just taking the one hole punch. For my next bin, I did do the planner stickers. I did have to take, I wanted to take separate ones just in case they don't have them. Like all the loose stickers that are just like for my old pack or just like finishing up the actual um, little containers. I'm um, not going to say containers, the actual pouches. So these are just leftover stuff from like old stickers that I just haven't finished. So I like to keep them in this little bin just in case my actual planner books stickers don't have these like these are a lot smaller so these are for like appointments dentists doctors stuff like that and then it does have different holiday stuff so i do have to definitely put that on the monthly stuff and these are just um labels to kind of put like the no school and stuff like that like school stuff for to kind of stay up to date with my kids schedule so definitely gonna go ahead and put that in there just because it doesn't take up that much space. These are the other things I do put on the side pockets. So just to kind of show you an overview of what it is. So it's just like my corner punch, my highlighters, a notepad in case I have to write, a calculator, a, uh, scissors and glue. 
So this is a cutting mat I did pick up at Amazon. Definitely have to sh let you guys know this is like the perfect size for this caddy. So I'll definitely leave it linked down below. And then this is how I actually ended up organizing it. I did end up putting, um, like I said, my corner rounder on the side pockets just because it's a little bit bulkier. And then my highlighters, I did put that in the front just because it was a lot easier. It actually fits right where the thing is. And I kind of like to keep them in the container. I did pick those up at Walmart and I actually like them really well. And then this, I believe there was a pack of five for like a dollar or two at Walmart. And they were baby pink, so I couldn't pass that up. And then this was a recent purchase. I haven't tried it yet, but I like the flexibility of the pointed tip to give it a little bit more... Um, detailed on the actual glue in case I got to just glue the edges and then this is more of a rounder so it covers more area on the actual crafting so I'm definitely going to try that out and let you guys know if I actually like it and then for the scissors I did put them inside they actually fit perfectly if I do stand them on the top those scissors I did purchase them at Joann's so this is what the after looks like as you can see everything's very organized I have the clips the stamps the craft tools everything came out so cute if you guys um, haven't followed me yet, follow me on social media at jessiedavila1 on Instagram and on Facebook. And subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in my next video.